Relationships can be hard. Yeah, they're no walk in the park. And there have been many times where I've said to myself that mm, maybe this relationship thing isn't for me. I mean, you actually go ahead to nurture a relationship or a friendship which grows into something more meaningful. And then it all has to break down because of different reasons, you know, incompatibility, um, or maybe just downright, hey, we've fallen out of love with each other. And that can be really, really difficult. So now this person has become your ex and maybe you see them, maybe you don't. Maybe you work in the same environment, maybe you live in the same neighborhood and you can't avoid not meeting them. But here you are at a point where lovers have become strangers and it can be really, really awkward. Now most times when there's a breakup in a relationship, there's always one party who actually wishes that it did not end. I'm not saying that there are no couples who don't think that it's best for both of you to break up, but mm, they're usually in the minority. There's always one partner who wishes things never ended. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing some tips with you on how to make that ex miss you, especially if you're one of those people who wish that relationship never ended and it caught you off guard and now you just want to have them back. If you're the one I've described, thanks for watching. I'll be right back. Welcome back from that commercial break. Now, real quick, before I jump into the video, just know that I have created a separate channel for my vlogs. So it's called Jessica OS Vlogs. Go like that channel, subscribe as well. My first video drops in a matter of days. Now, I'm gonna be covering everything from my biking and all the extracurricular stuff I like to do outside talking about relationships. So if it's your thing and you'd like to still see a little more of me, then by all means, subscribe. I'll leave the link to the channel in the description below. All right, let's jump right into it. So how to make your ex miss you? Oof, boy, how do you do it? How do you do it? Number one, I say completely disconnect. Completely. No ifs, no buts, no Jessica, I can't do it. None of that. Completely disconnect. Now, I know it's counterintuitive when you think about it. Um, you're trying to get them to miss you and I'm asking you to stay away. Well, I bet you've heard the saying that absence actually makes the heart grow fonder. Plus, if you just broke up, chances are they're pretty much over you or mad at you. Uh, whatever the cause of your relationship ending was is still fresh in their minds. And the last thing you need to do is to remind them of that very thing that they did not want reason why they broke up with you, all right? So as much as possible, remove yourself from her circle, remove yourself from, um, you know, wherever it is that you guys regularly go to or meet, avoid all those places and just create some distance. Trust me, it will work wonders. Plus sometimes when people separate, each party needs to give themselves time to heal to be able to come back and create anything meaningful. For instance, if they both thought that coming back to a friendship would be a good way to go. So create that distance, completely disconnect, no phone calls, no emails, no IM messages, WhatsApp, none of that. If they haven't blocked you already, maybe I might even say unfriend them or mute them so they don't get to see your posts. That's step number one. Number two. For number two, I say be the best version of yourself. Now, from where I sit, the best form of revenge is actually success, all right? What were some of the things that they used to complain about when they were with you? You were putting on weight, maybe. You were insensitive. You never gave them enough attention. You gave your friends too much attention. I mean, what were those things that became like a bone of contention in your relationship? Those things that always popped up that she talked about. If you ask me, that's a good place to start. Take a look at all those things that brought you guys to the point where you are at today. Were you a cheat, a chronic cheat, for instance? Become a better person. Be the best version of yourself and let your actions speak for you over time. Now, this will matter when you begin to engage with this ex once again after you've given them that time and space to heal and to miss you, all right? So actually work on who you are 
improve on yourself. Now, all of us can be better versions of ourselves. You need to just read a lot more and change your circle completely. And you'd be surprised just how much of a better person you could actually be when you begin to do some introspection, work on yourself to improve on the person that you are. Now, forgive me, there's a bit of noise in my neighborhood and it might be leaking into the microphone. Let's go into point number three. Sounds like it's drawing closer. Sorry, yeah, we're in Africa, people are really religious, it's a holiday, but yeah, some people would just rather disturb the whole neighborhood. Anyway, back to point number three. In point number three, I think you need to get a new look, and it's kind of related to point number two. Get a new look, okay? You want to grow a full beard, you want to take off your beard, you want to um, braid your hair, you want to, if you're not Caucasian, grow a fro. I mean, what do you want to do? Get a new look, change your wardrobe. You know, all these things actually help you feel a lot more better about yourself and will take a bit of your mind off your ex and allow you time to sort of reassess and um, reprioritize to see if that relationship was actually going to be worth it. And if you think it is, it always puts you in a better, more superior position to be able to return um, with something better to offer this ex that left you. Number four, be happy. And I mean genuinely happy, okay? Don't fake it because when people aren't happy, you can actually tell, all right? Be happy. Now go back to all the things that made you happy, you know, made you excited, um, all those things that brought you joy. And I'm not talking about the things that you and her did together in the day, but you know, just find a distraction, find a new hobby, um, find ways to genuinely invite positivity, love, and light into your life. Because when these things become entrenched in your soul, so to speak, um, you begin to radiate it and everybody around you actually begins to feel that. All right. So be happy, try to disconnect from what's just happened and genuinely begin to speak positive things into your life. Once you're in such a position, you'll be able to look at them and not hate them and not resent them and not feel any kind of negative energy from them such that you'll be able to approach them from a place of love rather than from a place of negativity. Now, the next point is to show her that you're okay. Now, even though you may be feeling sad and maybe in a lot of pain, never show it in front of your ex. Don't do it. It's going to make them too happy that you can't even function without them. And trust me, it's going to make them feel vindicated as well. So as much as possible, act normal. Let her feel like your life is still going on and you're okay. You're actually fine. You're actually happy and you're not missing the relationship yourself. When she sees that, she'll begin to wonder if she actually made a mistake by letting you go. But if you continue to mope and cry to your mutual friends who will end up telling her, my guy, you're going to be in such a bad place, you know? So yeah, let her know that you're okay. Let her know that you're fine. Even if you're not, fake it. You know what they say, fake it till you make it. My next pointer is to act close with someone else. How does this work? So you need to grab any opportunity to let her know that you are actually fine and there are other people who want you. Okay. Now, one of the biggest marketing tricks in the book is to create the impression that other people are also going after this particular thing because, you know, monkey see, monkey do, right? And people like what is popular. And so, if you're able to create the illusion that, okay, you broke up with me, that's fine, but I've moved on and I'm happy with this other person. Whenever she's around, maybe you guys have like, maybe you go to the same church, for instance, or you go to the same sort of spots to hang out or you work together. 
let them see you get close to another person because definitely it's going to trigger something in their minds and they're going to come questioning themselves as to whether they made the right decision. Because if someone else wants you, then maybe you weren't such a bad person after all. Okay. So it's important that you create that illusion of having other people who want you in their lives. Now, guess what? If you're lucky, your ex might actually become jealous that there are other people who are getting your attention. Next pointer, make sure that your mutual friends post pictures of you on social media. Well, kind of like a life update after a while, you know, let's say when she left you, you had nothing. You looked very scruffy all the time. Now she's seeing you in like a nicely dressed shirt and tie. You've got this great job and life is happening for you. You have this really clean shaven look if that's what she likes. And essentially, yeah, life is happening. She will want a bite of that. Trust me, get your mutual friends. Don't post it yourself. Cause it will be like, Oh, you know, she's, you're trying to get her attention and let her see that you are, uh, doing well. So get your mutual friends to actually do all the work for you. If you guys are friends on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, when they post a picture of you, guess what? Cause your mutual friends, she will see it as well. And yeah, that is the trick to use to get her to miss you and think about you as well. Line up those friends, let them know exactly what you want to do, but be sure that these friends are actually not more loyal to her than to you. Cause it could completely backfire. Right. And finally, I'd say date someone who she will deem better than her. Now there's nothing more painful than that. You know, it's like you've gone for an upgraded version of her. Oh my God, that's just going to kill her. And that's what we want. Okay. I don't know what your values are, or I don't know what her values were, but whatever it is, make sure you find that one girl who has whatever that value is in abundance. If for you, it's about the looks, make sure she's gorgeous. You know, by now she knows your kind of woman, you know, your spec, the kind of woman that you like. So make sure that you go and get an upgraded version of her. That shit hurts like hell. <laughs> she may not admit it, but yeah, she'll notice and she will be kicking herself every single time she sees you. So I hope these tips were helpful. Ways to get your ex to miss you. If they were, please smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on all notifications as well. So you get a notification every single time I post. My name is Jessica. Thanks for watching. Later.